Are you serious? I wasn't even fucking recording. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is just not my fucking day. Hmm. This is the intro. I don't need the intro. I don't need the intro. This is just a big show. It's just a big show. Big show. Big show. This is the intro. I don't need the intro. I don't need the intro. This is just a big show. It's just a big show. Big show. Big show. What's up, YouTube? I'm your homeboy, homeboy Josh, back at you with another video. And today I got kind of a review in a box. <laughs> this guy, Southern Gentleman, Southern Gentleman Vape Reviews, Brett, he sent me some stuff because I commented on one of his videos and I, I mentioned he was reviewing this cotton, this, uh, this True Vapors cotton, okay? And there's nothing too fancy about it. It's just, it's just fucking cotton, okay? But, uh, he, it was, he was wicking it, he was juicing this cotton, right? And uh, I gotta tell you, you can basically put double what you normally will put on this cotton. You know, basically wick the cotton with whatever juice you want, whatever juice you're putting in there, double it, it can handle it. He also sent me some other goodies. He sent me some of their wire, this uh, Eco Elite wire. I've got a vertical coil in this production already yet. This guy, Vapor Viewski, wanted to see what it would be like to put a centered coil in a uh, tri-post RDA. And that's what I did. He, you know, I thought there might be something special to it. Wanted to, you know, see if I would bend the canthal or anything like that, but no. The way he does it, the way I do it, it's the same way. You just put it in there and twist it. There's nothing really special to me about putting a centered vertical coil in a tri-post. There's, I don't really do it that often though. So, wanted to try that. And the production RDA seemed like the right way to use because it requires a centered build. So I did that. And I did all this on, on camera and I'm having a bad review day. Other reviewers might know what I'm talking about. One of those days where nothing goes right. So it's already built, it's already wicked, it's ready to go. And um, I've already you know, been talking twice without the record button going. I've, I've had a day. So, <laughs> if you look, it's got almost no ramp up. It ramps up real nice and quick. And uh, the cool down is actually pretty quick too. Lights up really nice as far as wire goes. I wouldn't say it changes the flavor too much in any way. It's definitely a nice hit that provides. I will say the color on the, uh, that the wire changes when you vape it, it it's, it's black. It changes black. No joke. Now, this is the 26 gauge that I built with originally. This was only dry fired. It was never wicked, it was never juiced. And it got this, this eerie, creepy black color when it was dry fired. And I just thought it was odd. So I, I built it again with the 22 gauge that he sent me too. And that does the same thing. It's, you know, I've, I've been vaping on it maybe, you know, five minutes, if that, and it's already blackened. It's kind of strange, but you know, it, it does what it's supposed to do. Vape's all right though. Um, nothing off about the flavor. Everything tastes great. Uh, Brett sent me he sent me the full line from Carpe Diem Artisan Elixirs, okay? Six juices he sent me, so that was super cool of him. And that's really what this video is about. It's a review in a box, okay? So we got six juices we're gonna go over. I'm gonna tell you how the, this cotton fares and what I think of this wire. Blessed day. There's nothing sweeter than lying back on a warm sunny day to watch big puffy clouds float by. Blessed Day is a light and airy juice that mixes a variety of succulent creams and sweet sinful cake batter to give you that perfect ADV. Tested by many, loved by all. And this one's my favorite of the bunch. It's the one that I'm working on right now in the production RDA. And it's a uh, 2575 blend. It's a 25PG, 75VG. So it's a nice cloudy vape. And it's very tasty. It's a very smoky custard. That's what I get out of it anyway. It's a very smoky, cloudy, custard vape, and it's very, very yummy. Even in the production RDA that kills the flavor quite a bit, if you ask me, it still comes through. It's still a very tasty vape, and plenty of clouds. Mm. 
Yeah. That's a really good vape for what it is. I like it a lot. Next one we're going to look at is Emblazon. Light the path to sweet, savory bliss with a blend unlike any of its kind. The perfect mix of vanilla custard clustered with rich hazelnuts and praying leans. This dessert lover's dream will take your taste buds to ecstasy. Indulge if you dare. I don't get a whole lot of flavor off of it. I didn't get a whole lot of flavor off of it when I was vaping it on the marquee either. Um, and that was the marquee. It's kind of a bland kind of vape, if you ask me. It's not a whole lot to it. Um, I don't get any nuts. I get, I get the vanilla and I get the cream, but that's really it. I don't get a whole lot out of it. Yeah, plenty of vanilla, plenty of cream, but it's very subtle. It's a light vape, very light, not extremely flavorful. I don't get too much off of it, you know? Plenty of clouds, plenty of clouds. It is a... Uh, it is a, it's also a 25 PG, 75 VG. So you get plenty of clouds off of it. If you're looking for something that doesn't have a whole lot to it, that you can just vape mindlessly all day, it doesn't really challenge you in any way, it's a good vape, I guess. Someone in my production video asked if I get any, uh, if I get any spitback this RDA and I don't. I gotta say, this is a really great RDA for blowing clouds. It doesn't have the most flavor. It's straight on flavor. It's a cloud RDA if you ask me. But I don't get any spit back off of it. So I don't know. Even with the vertical coils, I don't get a whole lot of flavor out of it. But I get enough flavor that I can tell this tastes awesome. Blessed day. And emblazon it doesn't have a whole lot to it. Normally in my juice reviews, I will, you know, change out my cotton in between each flavor, really. I don't want to show that on camera, but I do. I only have a very limited amount of this cotton, so I'm just kind of trying to blow out the, uh, the vapor on it. Here's Decadence. What I get off of it is, is basically bourbon and, uh, mm, and macadamia nuts. That's what I get. But I like it. I feel like it's missing something. I feel like it needs a little bit more flavor. Just like the uh, Emblazon, it needs a little bit more flavor. But on the nose is like macadamia nuts and, and bourbon. And it's, it's yummy. It just needs a little bit more oomph. It's close to being awesome. Mmm. Yeah, and it comes through, even with the production, you get the bourbon, you get the macadamia nut. It's a smoky babe. It's very, very yum. I like it a lot. I need a little bit of something. It's missing something. I don't know what, but it's very, very good. It's got that bite right here on the throat with the bourbon. Blowing it out your nose, it's very warm. It's, uh, it's also a very smoky vape. This one is actually a 15 PG, 85 VG. So it's extremely cloudy, basically this close to a max VG liquid, and it can blow some serious clouds. That one and Blessed Day, those are my two favorites. Next up, we got Eternal Life. Living life to the fullest is dripping this juice. <laughs> this fruit lover's dream is refreshing and sweet blend of juicy watermelons, green honeydew, with a slight back note of juicy lemon and sweet pears. This juice will leave your palate soaked in that summertime feeling. And I gotta say, mm, <laughs> on the nose, it is like straight up sugary candy fruit and it is a very delicious vape now this is 
Not necessarily a juice that I would gravitate toward all the time, but Waffles loves this juice. She took one hit and you should have seen her face. It lit up like, like Christmas morning. It was like, whoa, she loved it. Um, I've had the rest lit away from her so that I can do this review and then she can have it back because she has been loving this juice. And uh, for good reason, it's a very, very yummy juice. Very yummy juice. And it's also a 2575. Most of these are 25 PG, 75 VG. The only diff one that's different is the decadence. Mm. It's, it's really sweet with just the right amount of tart. For a fruit vape, it's really refreshing. It's really yummy. You can vape this by the pool, you can vape this on the beach, you can vape it anywhere. It's really yummy juice. If you like fruit vapes, if you like refreshing vapes, yeah, Eternal Life, it, it, it's delicious. It's, it's just fruity and it's fun and it's candy fruit. I would say that it's very artificial. I wouldn't say that there's anything too natural about the fruit in there but it's still a really good vape. Another thing about this cotton, not a whole lot of flavor creep. I like that. Next up, we've got Soulful Straw Nella. I'm not big on strawberry vapes, so keep that in mind. Yeah. It's almost a saltiness to it at times. Yeah. It's a, it's not a natural strawberry. It's yeah. Eh, the strawberry in here is kind of like strawberry culotta, almost, I want to say. It's, and it's borderline salty at times. Um, it's not too sweet. It's not very, a na it's not really a natural strawberry. It's, uh, I'm not a strawberry guy, though, so take, keep that in mind. You know, it's, it's not really my thing. Friendly clouds, though. It's a cloudy vape. So last up, we got Palm Bomb Delight. Since when did satisfaction ever taste so good? This enchanting concoction of ripe pomegranates fused with blueberries and a back note of cream leaves a tangy twist on your tongue that will have you coming back for more. Cannot be held accountable for causing new addictions everywhere. And this is the only one I haven't tried yet because I'm not a pomegranate guy. I'm not a blueberry guy. On the nose, not a whole lot. Kind of tastes like a, smells like a cobbler. A cobbler of some kind. That's probably the blueberries. All these juices go on extremely, extremely thick. That's the high VG in them going on extremely thick. Hmm. It's a, it's heavy really heavy it's uh it's not too tart which i like not too sour it's very thick you see that that smoke just comes out that vapor just comes out thick too it just <laughs> it just sinks it just sinks on this one It's just thick and sinking. So it's a lot of vapor on this one. And it's very thick vapor. It's very, um, it's thick, almost syrupy. Um, as far as blueberry vapes go, as far as pomegranate vapes go, it's actually pretty good. And I'm not a pomegranate or a uh, blueberry kind of guy. So, you know. It's pretty good for what it is. It's very syrupy.
decadent almost. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty good for what it is. It tastes like it tastes like you combined a blueberry and a pomegranate into this kind of super fruit and grew it on a vine and then you picked it down like a plum and took a big bite out of it. It's um it's really really good. Um I'm surprised by it honestly. Just sinks. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's Carpe Diem. See, so that's the Copper Vape Labs True Vapors Cotton. They're, uh, they're Eco Elite Wire and the Carpe Diem Elixirs. Carpe Diem Artisan Elixirs. Yeah, so that's my review in the box from, uh, from Brett, Southern Gentleman. Thank you so much for sending me these, buddy. Um, I've got some stuff on the way out to you. I sent you the, uh, the Petri RDA. I sent you the uh, Dark Horse Mini. I put together a, a nice single coil for you. A, uh, it's a Fuse Clapton paralleled with some 24 gauge and it's gonna be a really nice um, staged heating coil. It's gonna heat up and burn up really nice. I can't wait to see it. And it's, uh, I also sent you some, uh, and some nice twisted uh, can't all that put together. So enjoy that and thank you so much for sending me these juices. Thank you so much for sending me the cotton, the wire. Um, had a lot of fun with the, the whole package, the review in the box if you will. So thank you and um, uh, until next time, I'm your homeboy, homeboy Josh, Vape on Vapors.